Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by Living Hollow. Give me a hell yeah. Gentlemen, how we doing? Well, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. This is uh, this is Lloyd. He's in a band called Burn Like Stars. Uh, appreciate you fellas joining us today. Could you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are located right this second. Plug or promote anything you'd like. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Dylan. I play guitar. Chris, I play guitar. KJ, I play drums. Uh, Ben's in the bathroom doing whatever you do in the doing bathroom. Ba ba bathroom ben. stuff. Bathroom stuff. Uh, and uh, our vocalist is currently, uh, he is not here right now, um, but uh, his name is Blake. Um, but uh, the rest of us outside of him are uh, Austin, Texas located. Blake is actually in Houston. So, Hell yeah. Uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. How many white t-shirts do you own? How, uh, en enough to make it appropriate. <laughs> Hell yeah. How long, how long, how long have you guys all, all been a band together and were you in previous projects before Living Hollow? We joined, I, I think officially our journey started in March. Late, late February, early, early March was the first song that came out. And I think that, yeah, so this year, early, I would say mid spring. Yeah. And we all come from local music backgrounds where we've lived. Blake and I knew each other from Houston. I've lived in Austin for about a little more than a year. And uh, we both played local music in Houston. I played on the East Coast and did a few things. And all these guys have done their time in other bands. So we've, we're all a little bit seasoned. We're veterans. Um, and this, the one you're pulling up right now, this is the first, the first thing we kind of just like, hey, I, how do we get along as a band can we do this kind of thing and that's where this one came from you guys have been hustling for not being out for very for very long we definitely got caught wind of you and i think some other people have as, as well and your music's awesome so we appreciate awesome. not only putting out good tunes but just grinding baby just 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 I mean, working we've done, this, we've done this before we're not super young so yeah. we're, not, yeah. we're, we're not trying yeah. to waste a bunch of time and like we know what we want to do we're just getting after it like we have between the five of us so many resources to get after stuff to make it happen. Right. Um, we've got really good in-house resources to do pretty much everything we want. So it's just yeah, like, like whatever we want to do, we get, we make it happen. Exactly. Like, and that goes. That's kind of like a full spectrum because that you're talking about anything from like professional photography to audio engineering as well. We do almost every single thing outside of mixing and mastering uh, in-house. And yeah, when Chris says that, we solely mean like 100% almost everything comes from in-house. So that's why we're able to really be able to kind of grind out as much material and in such a short amount of time that we can. What what uh, what DAW do you use to record? So I, I'm i I'm the engineer out of the group. Uh, uh, and uh, so I use Reaper um, just because, why not? But I've been using it for about like seven years, so I'm very comfortable with it. Um, and uh yeah obviously it works just fine so. if, if you yeah. if you walked into a studio tomorrow and logic was the the go-to would you be okay yeah actually so i uh that would be my backdrop is either cubase or logic if i could not use reaper so yeah i i am comfortable with both of those but i'm very very at home with reaper for sure now most of your your guys's tracks are like chapter one, chapter two. What 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 is there is there an end game to it, and does something happen when the chapters climax, so to speak, or what was the thought process for going that route as far as the material being named, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three? Yeah, so uh, man, that's really kind of like a Blake. Yeah, question. it goes on Blake. He, I actually talked to him about this earlier. He, this is the first time he was able to write more like a concept. From lyrically, from you know, at, from a standpoint of, you know, not having a band that already had material written or something, he's you know, he had control over how he wanted the lyrics to go, how the vibe to go. So him and Dylan really worked closely on how to present that within these three songs. So chapter three is the culmination. Yeah. So yeah. after this, it will just be releasing songs without the chapter titles. But for now, for what Blake had as ideas, it came out in just these three songs. Right. So I, I envision down the road some kind of dance, Gavin dance s thing where they have like. You know how they have like the robot, the strawberry theme. Like eventually, people are gonna be like, "When's Chapter Four coming out, bro? When's Chapter Four coming, man?" 
that could be a future EP. You never know. Yeah, yeah four, five, and six on something. But yeah, for yeah. now, he's got, he's got he's had these lyrical ideas, and they came out in just these just these three songs. So. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Well, let's start with chapter one, and then we'll, we'll go into some more questions, and uh, we'll start there. Now, when you said earlier uh, you send it off to, to for mixing and mastering, who do you guys go through for, for that? Yeah, so um, I'm actually, it's a buddy of mine. His name is Johnny Fitzgerald. Um, he has his like own like home studio kind of set up. Uh, it's under a ripcord audio, but uh, he is the guy. He's my go-to guy. Um, he will mix and master everything uh, that Living Hollow comes out with, at least for you know the first the the future and the present as as of right now. Um, he's just a really good friend of mine. He does a great great job. Uh, he really vibes with what. Yeah, we're sounds doing. bomb. Yeah, he kills it. He's he's much love to that dude. What are you gonna fill in right here, brother? What's going I'm on? Working on it, man. I just got I just got my my chest slammed like. Nah, like a couple months ago. Yeah. So I'm just working all over, man. <laughs> I'm just trying this, to get... this part's not that bad, but there's a little bit of like a gag reflex when you are like, on, <laughs> yeah, on that. Like, <laughs> I don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> it's just, I know for it's a fact straight... you don't have a gag reflex. Don't lie, bro. <laughs> Come on. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> Lloyd, uh, what's some question you have for the fellas while I queue up the next one? Yeah, if uh, you guys were uh, on tour and you were like driving overnight somewhere and. Uh, you got a flat tire and a demon came out of nowhere and said, play me a song to impress me or I'll eat your souls. Which uh, song of yours would you play him? The one that just came out. If I Chapter had, three. Had, yes, sir. That's my personal favorite. If I had to say so. Plus, it's gonna, a new, you got to impress him. He's going to eat your soul if you don't. So that's the one we go with. <laughs> it impresses me. He after, Yeah. <laughs> honestly, after the song, he would probably be like, well, shit, you're probably going to eat my soul now. So exactly. yeah. Uh, your soul is mine. Yeah, we definitely tried to keep that as like a very paramount style of the band is just being overall like horror and creepy themed. To answer that question fairly needs to be answered in the future because we have a couple of things nobody's heard yet that are oh, yeah. probably pissed just... off more heavy than anything we've released. So Oh excellent. I would excellent. as of our current Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh so talk to talk to me about how of uh, the process. I know you said that your vocalist kind of had like the concept for it, but talk about how a song starts from scratch. Like he, he comes here with a, with a, a track, a paper full of lyrics, but then what happens? This guy here. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we opened the band chat one day. He's like, hey, I have this really cool idea. And it sounds like a finished song because it's Dylan. That's what he does. He can't just send you a scratch track anyway. I don't deal with that anymore. So guitar playing for me is just that. <laughs> yeah. um, he literally is full of ideas. So far, this man has pumped out some really awesome stuff, and we just kind of like, hey, this would be cool if you did this. Throw in some you know drum ideas from our our guy back here, and the, but this man over here is pumping them out. Yeah, I literally have a catalog. You can just open it up, and there's hundreds of songs that you can literally just pick from. They're just, uh, they're just instrumentals, just like ready to be turned into full yeah. songs. Yeah, essentially, and obviously, you know, um, like we could go into these projects and kind of like, you know, mess with things and like rearrange some things to, you know, get a little bit more like personal like influence from each guys in the band. So it's not a hundred percent me all the time because that's that's not what this is. It's not the Dylan show. It's not it's not the Blake show or anything like that. Like this is. This is for all of us, and we definitely all want to, you know, leave a footprint somewhere. And that's just, yeah, that's just kind of how we do it. But as far as the bones go, I'm a writing maniac, dude. I write all the time, and it's a problem. It's like <laughs> drugs. But <laughs> reminds me, through. reminds me a little bit of of Randy Lloyd. What would you say? And if I, I were you, that. always be writing, bro. Hell Never yeah. Know. Yeah. I have a, another one. If a uh, if a label hits you guys up and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna sign you. We'll pay for every song you ever record. We'll we'll pay for everything, but you have to dress the way we tell you and shoot the videos the way we tell you." Would you guys do it? You gotta dress the way they tell you. Yeah, bright pink outfits if they wanted to. You would have to do it because they pay I mean, for everything. Yeah. Paycheck's a paycheck. paycheck yeah, dude. Have, have you seen, seen the, the label? Label? If the label's treating us well, then sure we'll yeah. go. Maybe we'll. But if it's just like some bullshit that they want to just make us look like idiots, then probably not. That's that's they either say yeah or no. You, you just don't know, know what they're gonna do. I think any man has a price. Yeah. <laughs> if Fair I, enough. If I have to wait and play the 
dirtiest breakdowns? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's fine with me. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm secure enough in my manhood that I'll work yeah. back on stage. Absolutely. I got a great ass, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's jam chapter two. Then we'll get we'll do some trivia. To do the trivia, fellas, I want you to discuss amongst yourselves what you've seen the most regarding TV or film. You've seen this movie or TV show the most. It could be anything from Terminator to Harry Potter, South Park, Simpsons. It doesn't matter. But just we're going to do trivia about this. You get to pick. I'll give you a second to talk amongst yourself to figure that out. But try not to get stumped. We were we told your vocalist to bring hot sauce to to the show. Hopefully one of you guys, Dylan, maybe you have some hot sauce laying around. If I do stump you, would you be willing to take a swig? You do not have to do this, but uh, if if you're willing to take a swig of hot sauce. If I cannot stump you, I will do the hot sauce myself. And I'll let you pick. I have 15 different hot sauces. Chapter two, the unknown. You better drink the hot sauces or we take your kidneys. (laughs) Don't want that. You need those kidneys, man. Yeah. I'll jump on the grenade, I guess. Right. Oh, Blake is here in chat, by the way. Questions. A, did you guys think of some trivia? I mean, no. no. We, 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 all, we all, we all, yeah. We we were all trying to- just toss out a couple ideas. What, what were a couple of, of possibilities? Can we even all watch the same TV? I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm, so I'm watching House of Dragon. I just started it yeah. last night. And I, I love Game of Thrones. That is, not, Thrones that is not what we're asking. We're asking you've seen this movie or TV show a million times, where if I ask you something about it, you won't get it wrong. Like, it could be anything old school. You've seen Back to the Future 50 times. If I ask you a Back to the Future question, Rick and Morty, here here comes Blake in here to interrupt, to interrupt right now. He's got to adjust his camera and, and audio. Sir, with the plugs, we have not got a chance to talk to you, brother. You were in the restroom sir. taking a little uh, urine break, I imagine. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Could you please properly introduce yourself, sir? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Fair enough. <laughs> this is Bun Boy. Bun Boy. Bun Boy. Well, Bun, Bun Boy, what, yeah. what have you seen the most? What movie have you seen a million times? I feel like you got the answer I'm looking for. Toy Story. Toy Story, Story. hell yeah. Well, damn, Woody. Toy Story is. Blake, what's up, brother? You're muted. You're muted. Hey. There we go. That's it. Oh. There he is. There it is. What's up, buddy? Skip out. Hell no, bro. We'll bring you right in here. (laughs) (laughs) Can't get out of here. It's only a couple hours away from the other guys right now. What what are you up to today? Now you're right at the same time. What do you what do you got going on right now? Right now, uh, I got to find some hot sauce to do some hot sauce shots. Oh, See, go. now we're talking my language. <laughs> now we're talking my language. Give me a second to look up uh, some Toy Story trivia while Blake gets some hot sauce. I'll grab some hot sauce. We'll jam a little more of Chapter 2. Of course, we're going to play Chapter 3. If you're watching and you're feeling the music from Living Hollow, please hit the follow button. Support this band. Support them. Gentlemen, I have your Toy Story trivia, and it's ironic what the question is because I asked a question about this last week, and I didn't know this was actual trivia, but here we go. Toy Story. In Toy Story 1, the toys are pestered by a gentleman named Sid, this annoying as neighbor that burns and destroys all the toys. In Toy Story 3, what is his occupation? It's... A trash man is correct! Give me a hell yeah. I'm doing the hot sauce. Fellas, pick a number. One through fifteen. One through fifteen. That one's not fun. Localbandsmogout.com, click the merch tab. I just I just plugged our merch. I'm gonna spin it again. Did you pick a number one through fifteen? Is that how you're promoting our merch, bro? Are you kidding me? It doesn't make any sense as a prize for the band we're interviewing. Yo, if y'all like listening to some good ass tunes and smoke a weed, then buy some fucking local band smoke out merch. Put it on yourself, put it on your baby, put it on your wife and kids, your grandmother, and represent the family. Yeah! There it is right there. Damn. One through fifteen. What you guys got? Blake, you're welcome to join me if you'd like just for the hell of it. Oh, oh, pick a number. Yeah, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually a yellow sauce. It's lime jalapeno, South Texas, dead or alive. I'm going to take oh. a big swig of this. 
Plug in the merch right. doesn't is an appropriate one, so I'm gonna spin it again. And then we're gonna queue up chapter three. Fellas, this is a good one. Give me a hell yeah. So a golden ticket has just been gifted to you for getting the trivia correct. What that oh, is, oh. is we do a tournament of champions once, about once a month. This basically means you won today's stream. If you'd like to put yourself in, you're gonna automatically be in our next tournament. It's very good exposure for bands. Uh, all these bands that you see out of 32 total, all compete and they bring their fans and they discover new bands, blah, blah, blah. So somebody, other people will hear you guys' music during this tournament. And if each round that you keep moving on, we keep playing your music over and over and over and over and over again. So uh, you guys are gonna be in that if that's okay with you. Absolutely. Then let's go. Give me a hell yeah. yeah. This unfortunately does mean that you are not eligible though for today because it's as if you'd already won this entire stream. What is chapter three about lyrically, Blake? Uh, quick synopsis. So chapter three is like the end of the story that chapters one, two, and three are all about. Uh, it's basically just like this ethereal evil that's come into the human world that's just completely taken over has just captured all of mankind and, and brings oh, the no. end excellent the, 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 the apocalypse is coming can I do my spicy pickles that are 500,000 Scoville yes and that's disgusting but enjoy. <laughs> I hate pickles. I personally hate pickles more than anything. It's uh, I'll eat just about anything on the show, but I hate pickles and I hate mustard. But I hate pickles uh, more yeah. than mustard. Brother, but yes, to, to, have at it. I lost you on audio. What'd you say? So you, what do you eat when you when you go to a carnival? You don't have pickles or mustard. That's funnel cake. You, you eat First of all, I go to I go to whenever I go to a carnival, I look for. There's a there's a, a vendor named like Charlie something. Charlie something is the king of all the fried stuff. So he has like fried Kool-Aid, fried ice cream right. chicken sandwich, and all kinds of weird stuff. And I've tried just about all that. But fried pickles, any like when I go to a ballpark, there's no mustard going on my hot dog, bro. Uh, no whatsoever. Ketchup! I know. I know. You guys hate me. I'm sorry. Chapter three, Living Hollow. We're hanging out with them. This is a fun time we're having. Guys, if you're enjoying the music, please, once again, support them. Hit the follow button. They're awesome. The conclusion. Sanctum Morti. Holy death. Well, thanks. How you feeling, Blake? How's your, how, is it spicy? You all right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm kind of dying. <laughs> you said, what did you say? How many? 500,000 Scovels? Yep. Re but what's the most, yeah, the amazing. most, the, the most Scovels you've ever induced in one i guess one uh, sitting over a million for sure i don't know the exact number though it was the blair i had blair's ultra death sauce that was i don't know it was 900 times hotter than a jalapeno so i don't know the scoville yes. range that's, that, that, that sounds like millions that sounds like that was millions unpleasant. really unpleasant it doesn't even taste good at that point i did a the most i've ever done yeah no is a 6.4 million lollipop and oh, I did oh. it for I did it for 25 seconds, and I didn't even dent the lollipop, and it was the most agonizing pain I've ever been in as far as like a mouth feel. It just felt like knives that, stabbing my tongue. It's terrible. Yeah. Blake, uh, that hot sauce that I have here is 2.4 million Scoville. Bust it out, Dylan! What you talking all that trash? Bust it's, it out, bro! Oh no 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 no! I have it to <laughs> fuck with them. Yeah, I don't have it for I'll me. Eat it with so me. so. I think so. Garlic is spicy, so. What? Yeah. So <laughs> let's let's do let's do a round two. Let's do a round two of trivia. Round two of trivia. You said you said for them. Let's let them pick you guys on the couch. Let's let you guys pick the second trivia. Any any movie or TV show. But if you get it, if I stump you, Dylan's busting out the two point four million. I'm gonna go. I'm down for that. Get it wrong on purpose. I want to laugh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. I've seen that movie so many times. I bet you I can. Men in Black. Men in Black, the first one, or just any Men in Black. The first one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Chapter three. Sanctum Morti. 
your Men in Black trivia is as follows. In the very beginning of Men in Black 1, an agent retires. Which agent is it? It's a botched operation to arrest an alien criminal named Mikey near the Mexican border. Who is Agent Q? Agent Q is not correct! Dylan, go get that sh- <laughs> Let's go! Gotcha, bitch! I can't remember. Tell us, you have been stumped. It's Agent D. Agent, D. Agent D decides he is too old for the job, prompting Agent K to neuralize him so he can retire. Dylan knows what to do. I'll still do some hot sauce with you to keep it fun. Uh, fellas, if you were to ever have like a feature on a song, is there a particular artist that you guys maybe have discussed? Let's pretend money doesn't matter. You can afford it, but no big deal. Who would you want to be a feature on a song? Uh, if, if I had to go off of like just who is one of my favorite vocalists right now. Sure. Uh, it doesn't have to be a vocalist. Maybe for yeah, some reason but, there's a particular yeah. solo from like Zach Wilde or something. Just anything. Oh, no, I'm going to go vocalist on us because... Yeah. I think Dan Tucker from Crown Magnetar was my pick. Dude is solid. He is like all that embodies deathcore mm -hmm. vocalist, in my yeah. opinion. The dude is awesome. Yeah, those Colorado boys definitely know how to throw down in a big, big way. Blake's, Blake's already on it. Um, I'll do. I'll do. Man up. A swig of, of one of my hottest ones. This is a a gift from my buddies in Sky Drift Rap Nevada. It's called Johnny Harpoon Test Number Two. There's a ton of uh, goats, like scorpion peppers and all kinds of stuff in it. It sucks. It hurts. But um, Dylan, oh, yeah, so man. you want to you do the honors of, of explaining what you got in your hand right there? Yeah, cool. So this is Pepper Palace is the hottest sauce in the universe, the second dimension. Blake has had this before. That sounds safe. It's dark and fucking dark. horrifying. <laughs> just, put, just put like a big old swig on your finger or something and then... And we'll, we'll all do that. Uh, uh, noticing you guys are a heavy band, um, uh, Justin Bieber comes up to you and says he's a huge fan and he wants you to cover one of his songs. Which one of his songs would you guys cover? Um, uh, what's the one? Hold on a minute. I asked a uh, stupid the, question. The first <laughs> one that Ed Sheeran wrote for him. Uh, love Yourself? Love Yourself? Baby? Whatever. No, love Yourself? Yeah, love, love Yourself? Stuff. Okay. That yeah. song's dope. I would love to do, like, one of those, like, punk goes pop, like, heavy covers of some shit like that. Right. Well, you guys are all super heavy. What's your favorite pop artist? Go. On, I want to hear everyone's, like, the exact uh -oh. opposite genre of you. Ariana Grande. Hands Fair down. Hands down. Charlie, Charlie Puth. Ah! Uh, right, right now, I'm really obsessed with Louis Capaldi. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense. It was hot. It's hot. Hell yeah! Where where would you, if you guys could pick? Uh, well, let's just say you're on you're on tour. It's a world tour. You're it's it's, it's a 200 country world tour. Hypothetically, I don't know where where would you most likely not most likely, but where would you be most looking forward to play anywhere in the world? What Europe, particular okay. country? Germany, yeah. Norway, Sweden. The dudes love uh, they just love metal in general over there. Um, Look at like all the like whack and open air, all those big ass festivals. Oh, whacking would be wild. No, I mean I just I've got you know friends that are on tour playing those festivals right now, and it's still 2022. And they're they're playing to 75 to 100 thousand people in a crowd. That would be ideal. Yeah. The shit what's sucks. The, the what's of the my message truck. of your guys' band? Like if uh, you're <sighs> I mean writing songs is writing stories. What's like the message you're trying to get off? Maybe this is more for Blake. Yeah, Blake, that's all you, buddy. I asked everybody. Just somebody answer it. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I don't know if there's any one direct message, but I know a lot of my lyrics are going to be just different, like philosophical type uh, stories, like allegory of the cave from Socrates. Uh, just a lot, like some dark elements, like because we're a deathcore heavy band, but then just talking about certain subjects that a lot of deathcore bands don't write about is just kind of my forte. And for me personally, it's a, it's an outlet for something I don't get to go express in my everyday life. Like, obviously we can't be this aggressive all the time. So it's like, this is our way to get the stress out to kind of like beat up our instruments and go to go on stage and kind of like get this crap out and go back to our everyday life. For me, that's what it is. It's like a creative outlet. I can go hang out with people I like to be around and make cool stuff. And then get 
performing is the cool part for me. How, how's your mouth feeling right now? I can't feel the back of my tongue. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm spitting a bunch, but we're yes, it's, we're it's, we're it's burning. Good. It's burning. Uh, fellas, feel- we, we got time for maybe one or two more questions. I'm going to ask a serious one. I'm sure Lloyd will do the opposite. My serious question is... Um, what is what I ask everybody the same question by the way, and Blake, you can answer after after they after they do. What is a, a a serious piece of music advice that somebody in the music industry has has told you guys that kind of changed things or opened eyes for you, or a terrible mistake you made probably prior to even being in Living Hollow? Just you're in a you're in a small time band and you made a really terrible mistake. You don't want any starting garage band to make this mistake. One um. or the other put money into quality recording facts good advice just even if it's a bad song you hear it the best way possible it's the only way you're going to get better facts. just people put time in the studio yeah that's the biggest thing i could recommend yeah i'm i'm kind of on the same spectrum as that uh i had some advice given to me years and years and years ago and it was basically the same except it's not just quality recordings it's just quality like spend money like to get the best that you possibly can, you know, without like obviously killing yourself um, to do so. But yeah, if you're gonna put any sort of art out there, um, no matter what it is, you obviously want to put the best quality out there. So don't don't cheap out. Like you know, it's gonna be something worth it. You know, because it's it's a part of you that you're putting out there. You want it to have the best quality that you can. So don't cheap out on it. So yeah, I I'm in the same boat. Yeah, and, and we can say that with. I mean, if you look at our releases so far we've kind of progressed up in the level of artwork that we've gotten for each song. We realize where we want to be and the level of effort that we need to put in to get there. And you can compare our last two lyric videos, for example, and we, we finally achieved a spot that we want to be at. So that's kind of like setting the bar, you know, where we want to keep it pushing. So I've got a quick, short answer to that question. Five words. Be friends with other bands. Yes. Yeah. Quit, th- quit thinking that just because you want to make it to the top, that the only way to do it is fucking hate on other bands and other musicians or that and-, and abuse other bands and other musicians to get there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of that in the music community nowadays. People think the only way to the top is if they're the only ones that are seen and heard. Both the best, the best way to make music and uh, uh, get yourself out there is just. Be friends with everybody and show mutual respect. I like that. Treat treat people the way you want to be treated, essentially. Like like Mama said. Like Mama said back around. in the day. Hell yeah. Lloyd, what's your final question for the fellas? Um all right. I uh I represent every candy company in the world. Any candy you've eaten, I probably represent it, and they all want to sign you guys. Who do you want to be signed? Like, who do you want to be our sponsor? Who do you want to be sponsored by? What candy? Kit Kat. Haichu. Haichu. I love Haichus. I also love Kit Kat. Haichu, man, that's international shit right there. I'm that's talking cool. like Reese's. They're gonna put you on all the packages. Like that's... you're gonna be all over. Wouldn't the Wouldn't the best answer be Hershey's? Because Hershey's makes like a hundred candies. No, make it specific. You get a lifetime supply. Okay. 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 okay I'm sorry. Honestly, whoever makes. Gummy treats. Yeah, I will slam a five pound bag any day. Oh, I got, oh, I just hit my stomach. Oh, Ooh. damn it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, well, fellas, we appreciate you guys joining. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us. All all three chapters are fantastic. We look forward to uh, the new music, which is not related to the chapters. It's going to be individual. Uh, is there a, a rough timetable on a, the fourth single? Uh, the EP we're planning to be out this fall. We are actually getting to our live shows um, this month. So we wanted to keep a little bit of mystery around the songs. Um, so, so you have something to show up and, and hear that you haven't heard yet. Um, but our plan is to release an EP with five total songs at some point in the fall. Yeah. And these three will or will not be on it? They will. They will. will. All three. Okay. So we- cool. Uh, and we got some cool stuff coming. We have another song. Like I said, we have two songs. Um, and there's a secret coming out on another one that we won't talk about yet, but there's a lot of cool stuff coming. Yeah. Excellent. 
We appreciate you guys joining, man. Live in Hollow out of Texas. You guys are awesome. Welcome back anytime. Please don't be strangers. And when the new stuff is ready, please let us know so we can spin Absolutely. it, check it out, show everybody it. But uh, gentlemen, I appreciate you not only doing the hot sauce, but just being really cool dudes, man. You guys are awesome. Hey, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, live in hollow! Yeah, hell yeah. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.